Hey everyone, okay, I wanted to create a quick video for you to show you how you can create an Instagram story. I'm going to start by sharing my screen with you from my phone. So let's go ahead and do that. All right, so now you are on my phone here. We're gonna start by clicking the top right corner here where you see that plus button. And at the bottom, it's going to give you the option as to whether or not we're gonna create a post, a story, reels, if we're gonna go live. We're gonna start right here where it says story. So I'm just gonna simply click on the word story. And now you can see that I could actually take a picture of myself live if I wanted to by clicking this little circle here. But in actuality, what I wanna do is use some of the photos that I already have saved on my phone. So down here is a collection of all of the photos that are saved on my phone. So I'm gonna click on that. And I'm going to go to the top where I have a bunch of these photos. They're a little bit out of order in, in how I want to use them. So I'm going to start with the first one here. Oops, I forgot to tell you. We are going to go ahead and select this button so that I have the option to select multiple photos. I'm going to select that first. Okay, so now that that's highlighted, I can go ahead and select multiple um, photos, you'll see a little number appear in the upper right hand corner. The number shows you the order of which it's going to appear in your story. So this is going to be the first photo. Um, my second one I'm going to do. I'm going to do that one. I'm going to do that one. I'll do just one more. Actually, no, I'm going to add it, end it there. We're going to end it there. I'm going to go ahead and click the little arrow button down below here. So now I have these, you know, sort of like a preview here in my story. It's not quite in my story yet, but what I can do is I can add different effects and stickers and things like that, or I could add additional text if I wanted to on each of the stories um, or each of the photos that are below. So this is my cover story um, photo. If I go to the next one and it says, after you make a down payment, the rest of your money you owe on your home is called the, and if I wanted to, I can create um, like a, a sticker or something to you know, I could actually have the question right there if I wanted to, but I'm not going to do that for this particular example. Let me get rid of that. If you want to get rid of something, you simply drag down to the, the trash can there. Oops. It's giving me a little bit of a hard time here. There we go. Um, let's see what other sticker I could use. Um, let's do money. If I want to do a photo of some money, I can add that. And then I can go to the next page or the next photo. And this is telling you now it's called your principal. I can go to the next one. The purchase of a home can be blank upon the buyer selling their home, their home first. And let's say I just want to have a picture of a house. Oops, didn't mean to do that. trying to, sometimes when you're trying to um, select a um, icon or a sticker and you want to make it larger, sometimes it gets a little finicky. Okay, so now I can go ahead and go to my next picture. This one says, um, oops, not that one. The escrow deposit is also known as the good faith deposit, right? And then we've got this down here. So something else I can do, I think I'm going to add um, an EXP sticker, which a lot of people, I don't think know this, but if you go to the stickers section and you type in EXP Realty, you actually have EXP's brand new logo right there. So you can click on that logo and I could put that right at the top of my story if I wanted to. And there you have it. So now I've got my story ready to go. I'm gonna go ahead and click the arrow button that's on the right-hand side here. 
And I'm just going to share this now uh, to my story. And I'm done. Oops. All right, so now that has officially been shared to my story. I'm gonna go back and check that. Oops. Okay, so I'm gonna go to the top left-hand corner here. Remember I told you earlier about all of these um, folks that are in my app here. And this is if I wanted to see somebody's story, I can click on anybody's story here. But if I want to see my own stories, I can click on the first one. Because I had so many pages, this may or may not all be fully downloaded in my stories yet, but let's find out. So I do have the first one there. And it looks like as I keep tapping through, it does appear that all of my stories is there. So there you have it. That's how you create an Instagram story.